Carla and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be making cheesecake stuffed banana bread. But before we get into the video, make sure to give this video a nice thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss any of my videos. All right, let's get started. So there's going to be a couple different steps to this recipe, but all you're going to need is some cream cheese, some bananas, some powdered sugar, vanilla extract, or this is a vanilla bean paste. It's a one-to-one -one ratio, but so much better if you can find it. I highly recommend it. Um, just some sugar, flour, butter, vegetable oil, eggs, heavy whipping cream. Then in here we have a little bit of salt, baking powder, baking soda, and cinnamon. So nothing too crazy. I pretty much have these at home all the time, but we're going to do kind of like three steps here. So the first step is going to be making your cream cheese type filling, like cheesecake filling. Then we're going to be doing our banana bread and then we're going to be doing kind of like a sugary drizzle on top with the heavy whipping cream and the sugar and the butter and all that good stuff. So that's pretty much it. It's not going to be hard at all. All you're going to need is a couple bowls, either a hand mixer or a fork and a pan for the stove to make our little drizzle. But let me just go get my apron and we'll get started. Alright, aprons on, we got our bowl, our mixer, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is take your cream cheese and your powdered sugar and a teaspoon of that vanilla and then we're just going to be mixing this into our first little bowl here. Alright, so we have our vanilla in and our cream cheese. I'm just going to add in the powdered sugar just slowly so that it doesn't come, you know, splashing all up on me. Super simple, super simple. <laughs> Part one is done. Now, as you can see, since we use that paste, our filling has like all those little vanilla bean specks. So good. So, step one done. I'm just gonna rinse this. Actually, now I don't need to rinse these off. Do I? They're all gonna be mixed in together. It's not a big deal. So, I'm just gonna grab another bowl and we're going to now work on our banana bread. So I'm just going to take the heavy cream, butter, and the one cup of sugar and just put that aside just so that I make sure I don't accidentally put something here in this step that's not meant to be. So I'm just going to mix everything together. So I'm just going to take the dry ingredients. And just kind of make sure and mix those together pretty good and then add in the wet. I'm going to take like a fork or something like that and we have our dry ingredients. wasn't thinking, I'm just going to put the dry ingredients into a separate bowl just because it's going to be a lot easier me mashing all of the bananas and everything in here first and then adding in the dry because I don't want to be creating any more gluten or having a really tough banana bread by just over mixing. So try to let these bananas sit as long as possible just so we can get that natural sweetness. I've made a ton of things with bananas on my channel before. If you guys are interested, maybe I'll make a playlist or something and then I'll link it up here somewhere. I do also have my strawberry banana bread recipe video. It's so good, I'm telling you. It's like, it's totally different than a normal banana bread. So I'm not gonna compare it to like just a classic banana bread recipe, but it's so good. I love the strawberries in them and we just kind of put them on top and let them get nice and crispy. So good. All right, now we're just gonna mash these up a bit. Now you can do this as mushy or as chunky as you like. I'm just gonna leave them like this. I like mine to be a little bit chunkier, but these are going to be getting mixed up even more once we add in the other ingredients, so I don't wanna overdo it. I'm gonna take more of our vanilla bean paste or vanilla extract, whatever it is you guys are using. Then you have your vegetable oil, and then you have your egg. All right, so we're gonna mix this one more time. All right, 
Since you guys should have something now that looks like this. Now we're gonna start incorporating our dry ingredients and then this is done. Okay, now we're all done. See, we have our batter. So good, but don't be a dummy like me and forget to preheat your oven. Cause now I've gotta sit here twiddling my thumbs because I didn't do that. So make sure you preheat your ovens to 350 degrees. So let me go do that and then I'm gonna prep my pan and then we'll come back here. Okay, so we're still preheating because like I told you, I'm a dummy and I forgot to do it. So this is just the little thing that I, oh, we're preheated. That's what a quick preheat is for. So we are all sprayed up over here. Now all we're going to do is put in about half of our batter, put in our filling and then the rest of our batter and then we're just gonna put that right in the oven for only about a half hour. Now if I had one of those automatic ice cream scoopers, this would be lovely, but I currently do not. So I'm just gonna do it this way just to make sure we have, you know, the same amount of cream cheese going all the way around. This is how I saw the recipe being done anyway, so I'm gonna do the same thing. All right, so now you guys should have something that looks like this. So you have your batter and then you have your filling. And now we're just going to go ahead and top. Hello, Layla. We're, let's see if I can get her over here. Come here. Come here. She's hungry. And then we're just going to top with the rest of our batter. Make a little sandwich. All right guys, and we're all covered up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in the oven for 30 minutes and then we'll come back and I'll show you guys what it looks like once it's done. And in the meantime, all I'm gonna do is I'm going to take our sugar, heat that up on the stove until it's melted, then I'm going to do the same with the butter, and then we're going to take that off of the stove and add in our heavy whipping cream, and then just let that sit and cool before we drizzle it over our cake. This is what we're looking like, nice and golden brown. So I'm just gonna let this sit and cool while I continue making my little syrup. All right, so now the cake is done. Our, um, well, let me just say again, I'm a dummy. This is not a sugary drizzle. I mean, technically it is, but I just realized we were making caramel. So. We have our banana bread with our cream cheese filling and then caramel on top. So we're just gonna take this, flop her on over. Okay, well, my camera stopped filming, but all we did was take the caramel and drizzle it on top. Now I probably should have waited a little longer for it to cool a little more, but it's fine. I've just been scooping and putting it all over the place. So, and then all I did was just take another banana and just slice it and just put the pieces right on top. So let's cut into this. Can't wait to try this, see what we look like. Mm. Looks insane. So we definitely have our three layers in here. We have our caramel on top, the banana bread, and then our filling. I mean, as you can probably tell, this wasn't one of my healthy recipes on my channel, but who eats healthy all the time? So, I don't usually do this, but... 
I really liked it because I ate this entire thing before even telling you guys anything where I'm usually I just wait to eat when I'm done but like this is ridiculous in my banana shirt so fitting but you guys this is definitely a treat but this is ridiculous this is probably the best thing I've ever made when it comes to desserts this is insane the bananas the caramel the the cream cheese on the inside, this is so good all the way around. I don't even know. I don't even know. Everything worked so well together. I don't think it would be the same without either one of those layers. It's so, so good. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I hope you guys really liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a nice thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss any of my videos. If you want to get my exclusive nutrition tips, healthy food recommendations, and delicious recipes right to your inbox, then make sure to head over to my description box, click the link, and join the fam. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. And I'm going to try not to devour this whole thing tonight.